Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about this skincare product that I've been using for a while now. Not too long, probably about a month or slightly less than a month, but not super consistent because, well, I'll tell you why later. So this is the Antipodes Blessing Anti-Pollution Light Face Serum. This is vegan approved by the Vegetarian Society and also it's from New Zealand. I mean, if you don't know Antipodes or Antipodes, uh, if that's what you guys want to call it. I don't know what is like the best way to call it. There are some people call it antipodes, some people call it antipodes, whatever, okay? I'm just going to call it antipodes. I checked already, okay? I Google and I try to find out like what's the right way to, of saying it. There's actually two ways. There's some people actually say antipodes or some people actually pronounce it as antipodes. So I'll just leave it as that. I'm just going to say antipodes. So just let me be, okay? Anyway, this one I've actually received from them for quite a while now, a couple of months already. But because I was like in the midst of moving and I had my surgery and then I had like some other skincare to try out. So this one ended up only now I was able to like try it out and also review them. Because previously, they also sent me the vitamin C one, which I kind of... Vitamin C kit, but it's from Trilogy on, which I don't really enjoy using. It just doesn't really work on my skin. It's just unfortunate i was really hoping that it will work better for my skin but it doesn't this one just ended up only now that i'm able to actually try it out and give you a review about it okay it doesn't look like i've used a lot because i haven't it's probably only been like a couple of weeks only that i've been using this and not consistent also the reason why that i couldn't use this like every single day or even every single day and night because um, this one is like a oil feel kind of serum. I don't know how you say that. Although it's written serum here, right? It almost has that like oil, oil texture to it. Like a very light oil kind of texture to it. It looks very like shiny as you can tell. And it feels very like oil-based kind of serum. Not really the water-based serum or the cream-based serum or stuff like that. Oh, the jasmine smell is so, so strong. I mean, we'll talk about that later. But let's just talk about like why I can't use every single day because I feel that this is a little bit strong for my skin. Um, not bad. I mean, this is really not a bad product. I'm not trying to say that this is a bad product or whatever. My skin likes it, but not on an everyday basis. So which means that I can use this like an alternate day kind of a serum. I can use this like maybe two times or three times a week kind of serum, but definitely not an everyday use. And when I use this, I cannot really use a lot of all the other products as well because it will feel like it's a bit too much after I apply this and then I apply all those other products. It's going to feel like it's a little bit too much on my skin. So this one, it feels like it's very, very like heavy for my skin. I think it's also because it's oil, lah, okay? I, I seriously think it's also because it's oil and my face... It's still pretty new in the oil kind of department. My skin, yes, my body is so used to the whole oil moisturizer kind of uh, feeling and the oil moisturizer kind of uh, type of moisturizer. But my face, no, I was still pretty careful with oil-based uh, skincare. Not really oil-based, more of like oil feeling kind of uh, skincare product or oil texture kind of skincare product on my face specifically because I do realize that I can use them but not too much like I do see that my skin liking those oil but not on an everyday basis like, that's what I realize about my skin also that's why I have not been venturing out too much on oils for my face basically I think the last that I tried which is like an oil based kind of skincare product is the SK2 oil Pitera essence that one is like a mix like a half oil half Pitera essence and that one works really nicely but that one was also pretty strong because again it's oil but it works so well in like cold countries every time when i go for go to a cold country basically like korea with with like winter and stuff like that i will always bring that along because that one works super well in winter countries and my skin is super happy with that but when it comes to malaysia i realize that i cannot use that every day because it's just a little bit too heavy it's a little bit too strong it's a very 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 nice product no doubt because it has a mix of like the, the oil and and Pitera and it really helps in like renewal, rejuvenate and also like moisturize your skin. To be honest, I've never really thought about that until a week in of using this like consistently every single day I use this for a week, I realized that I actually <laughs> have a spot here and also it was like during PMS kind of time so it wasn't like the best time to really try out oil products because your skin just not in the best mood basically. So within a week in, I, I actually have like a 
pretty big pimple here, like a clock kind of pimple, and it's like the type that is within the skin type, and unless I poke it to like release the juice <laughs> from my skin, it it's gonna be like a it's a painful one. Nah, I'm not kidding. It's like an embedded inside one. You definitely need to poke it out to squeeze them out and stuff like that. Then only it will go away. So I mean, I can still see the marks here. I mean, this one it's with like a very very light foundation. It's after like it's probably about two a.m. right now. So it's after a whole day of going out and do stuff. So you can actually see like there's not really scar like more of like the pimple mark here which it takes time to heal, so I'm just gonna wait for that. There, yeah, that's the pimple that I kind of went through with this, basically. I think I also realized that after using it for a week, I guess some part of my nose kind of clogged a little bit more, like the I can see more blackheads. So which means that it's, it's just telling me that really you cannot use, I cannot, my skin cannot use this every single day. A nice product for the first like two days, it felt so good, it feels nice on the skin, and I kind of apply I think a little bit more than I did think my skin can handle four drops on my palm and then I rub it in between my palm and then just apply it on my face so it feels really really nice um, and then also I don't think I kind of apply anything else after that because I felt like oh this is like an oil I mean I didn't know that it was an oil at first I thought that this serum is just going to be like a like a very water based kind of serum so you apply it on your hands and then you're at, apply it all over your face and then it kind of absorbs into your skin basically like it will not leave too much of a moisture on your face but because this is like an oil based kind of serum so it does leave a little bit of that like layer on the face it kind of goes off a little after a while like the shine kind of goes off but you can actually feel like there's still somewhat of that like that oil not oily it's not oily but you know that you apply oil kind of skincare on your face kind of thing so you can feel that moisture that i guess in a way i, I don't know it, some people might not enjoy that kind of moisture it's a different kind of moisture okay it felt great until like i saw pimples starting popping up and then i feel like okay maybe i need to like lay off on this because this was the only product that i kind of changed during that um that time time to maybe cut down on this and um not not be so generous on this so i decided to just lay off a bit and then uh, go for a facial and then after that i come back again after the facial i start like adding back this into the skincare routine so now i try to use like maybe just like one to two pumps two pumps is like i feel like i was already like a bit scared so maybe one and a half not really pumps actually to be honest just drops not even pumps when you pump it out you will get a whole lot of like oil in there it's quite a lot and you don't pump out the entire thing okay the first time that i used it was quite a lot actually because i don't know how how this feel and how this actually applies on my face so from the first day itself, i knew that i cannot use too much so four drops was was like very luxuriously applying on my face already going back to the time after i did my facial i realized that i cannot use too much of this so i started just like maybe with one drop you know and then after that i test out with two drops and I think there was like one time I tested out with like three drops and I felt like, okay, three drops is like pushing it actually. It's really pushing it already. So from then on, I kind of cut down between like either one to two drops uh, depending on how my skin feels that day. There were times where I consistently use it every single day during the night time before I go to sleep. And usually if I do that, I don't really apply much of any more things after that like i don't apply any more moisturizer after that or if yes i do it will be a very light layer of moisturizer so i don't want to like overwhelm my skin with like this product and then with a lot of all the other products as well so i keep it very very simple i literally cut down to either this product only or this one with just a a very light layer of moisturizer it really depends it's good to really find a balance between that okay let me just read out what it says behind all right it's a true blessing for urban life this white jasmine fragrant serum offers daily natural protection from city pollution and signs of premature aging so it's like an anti-aging kind of uh, serum marshmallow bloom and licorice roots brighten skin which i don't know if it really brightens or not because i mean just a couple of weeks of using i really don't know if it brightens anything i don't think specifically i saw any like skin evening improvement i don't really particularly see that because of that freaking big set <laughs> yeah so i can't really tell you if it brightens skin or not revolutionary antioxidant vinanzar grape and asian ginger help neutralize free radical damage 
while kiwi seed oil strengthens skin perfect for most skin condition okay i don't like it when skin can actually say that like always say that oh this is great for all skin type perfect for all skin condition yes maybe your skincare product is a uh, probably possibly can use for all skin type but there is like the amount of usage cannot be like just one size fit all kind of thing one direction fit all kind of thing like for example if oily skin type people i don't think you can use this if you even if you really really want to use this you probably only use like a very small tiny amount okay even normal skin type i do think that this is probably like a bit too much also for you especially if you're like not even used to oil kind of skincare if you're new into skincare basically maybe i would say this is more of like more for mature skin type if you have like more of an aging kind of skin and then yeah this one will probably be good for your skin so if you're young skin i don't really recommend this daily ritual basically directions are okay apply at daylight before your favorite moisturizer swiping upwards with your fingertips across your face and neck okay <sighs> the problem with this is that i don't really think anyone in malaysia can use this during the daytime unless you're like have super super extremely dry skin okay it's so hard <laughs> it's so hard to ask a malaysian to use like an oil-based kind of skincare product don't just don't say serum don't say moisturizer just any sort of skincare product it's very hard to tell a malaysian to use an oil-based kind of skincare product during the daytime specifically nighttime still acceptable because most of the time you are indoors and it's not so hot and humid outside in malaysia so it's gonna be very very hard for malaysian to use this i think because it's from new zealand so obviously new zealand has like four weathers right four season basically so it's probably easier for them to be able to use this during like the winter time or even the to be honest even their spring and like autumn time sometimes can get pretty chilly so you can actually use this for like colder weather so in malaysia it's a little bit hard to like say yeah this is great during the daytime it doesn't clog my pores or anything in general unless i overuse it okay but if i use it at the just the right amount just that, that you know slight amount is actually okay i just can't see myself using this during the daytime like applying this and then go out during the daytime i am able to use this during the nighttime it's fine just because of the weather and the humidity here it's just ridiculous and different from New Zealand. Ingredients wise, no doubt about that, it's antipodes or antipodes, great ingredients. I have no doubt like antipodes product, antipodes ingredient is 100% is 100% top notch and I believe in them. I love some of their products. Some of the products is just really really amazing. I think what happens after this is that it's just not worth my like time to continue use this unless I'm actually going to like Vietnam soon. So I don't know if it's going to be super cold there or not. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep this or not because it feels like usually when I have a skincare product, unless I really, really, really absolutely love that skincare product, I will usually either pass it to my mom or just stop using it and just put it aside, put it into a a box of like me not wanting to use this product anymore because i have to move on i have to try other skincare products okay usually when i actually pass a product to my mom which means that i actually trust the product enough to be able to make my mom's skin feel good and my mom is like more of a how to say 50 in her 50 60s so i guess it's more of like a mature skin type already lah. so most of the time if something that's a little bit too strong for me it will be something that is just I guess nice for her or be something that she actually don't mind using and feel pretty okay using so this one i don't know if she's gonna enjoy it because again oil is something new also for her i believe so usually the one that i give her is also like cream and more and other type of moisturizer that i i, I 100 percent you know i don't mind it and i think it's a good product it's just that probably not good enough for my skin or i feel like i need to move on and it's not like my holy super grill like my Laneige um, cream skin refiner that one I'm not gonna let go no matter what okay I don't know so this one will definitely not go into the bin where I feel like it's not even good enough to pass it to my mom but I love this brand and I believe in this brand basically and I don't think this is a bad product it is just maybe not so suitable for younger skin type people in Malaysia specifically if you're in Malaysia just use a little bit don't use too much okay during the daytime, don't use too much. If you want to use it, try to use it at night, okay? If you are overseas, then yes. If you are in like a country with four season one, you have winter, or you're constantly very dry, generally your area is very dry, then yeah, this will be 
perfect for you. Okay, let's just talk about packaging. So after me talking about how I feel about the product, let's just talk about packaging. Packaging is nice. I love Antipodes packaging. Um, I think I like the pump. It's useful. The pump works very well. The bottle cap works very well. Everything is... It's good lah, I would say. they done it pretty well. The packaging is nice. It's in the glass packaging. It's uh, like a darker kind of glass packaging because you know, um, most of the Antipodes products are more of a natural side. So which means that a lot of the skincare, you have to try to protect it as much as you can. Keep it away from sunlight because usually natural skincare products can kind of expire faster so you just gotta keep an eye on that so it's good as a dark bottle so that it helps to keep away sunlight as much as possible okay and try not to put this in like a place where there's like direct sunlight try to put away to be honest any skincare product you should also try to just keep it away from direct sunlight if you can try your best all right the scent is super heavily strong of jasmine so if you can't stand jasmine scent this is this is not you you don't even need to think about this okay for me it was a little bit off-putting at first because <laughs> um i think most of you know by now if you have watched my videos enough to know that i don't enjoy jasmine scent in general that's not my first choice of scent in general some jasmine scent the lighter one i can actually accept but this is very strong very very strong of jasmine scent yeah one bottle like this is in 30 ml and i think it's actually quite a lot for a serum specifically for like an oil based kind of serum and you don't use a lot of it this is actually pretty worth your price if you want to buy a serum that's oil based one and your skin is happy with oil based kind of serum and you're happy with jasmine sand product or you don't mind it every single time it's actually quite a worth it product if you can use such product so thank you so much for watching that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed this kind of video i hope you learned something i hope this video helps i will see you guys in my next video bye don't forget to like and subscribe!